So I'm now going to invite Maria Muller to come up and share her story connected to her. I live three blocks away from here in Midtown Phillips neighborhood. I should be worrying about school and sports and friends, but instead I have to worry about something else, the future of our kids. Last October, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released a grim report about the future of the planet. In my lifetime, I can expect food shortages, wildfires, and the extinction of many species if we don't sharply reduce greenhouse gas emissions. 2030 has been identified as a key turning point because if we don't reduce emissions by then, it will be almost impossible to turn things around. That means we have just over a decade to get our act together. Back in October of 2018, I became part of a group called Minnesota Can't Wait, an organization led by youth in Minnesota with the goal of having our state take urgent climate action. Since then, I have been going to protests at the Capitol and around the city. My not in a position where we can make the important decisions that have to be made. But we are doing all that we can, and we should be too. Getting 100% clean energy by 2050 is not a problem that can be solved by riding my bike and turning my lights off every day. We need all people, all organizations, all companies, and our state government to be on board. This will not be easy. We will have to rethink many of the things we do here. But 100% clean energy will also open up many new jobs in that field. There are already 61,000 jobs in Minnesota in the clean energy sector, and it keeps on growing. Clean energy can also save us money in the long run. My family has put up solar panels and pays much less electricity each month. This climate crisis is putting my future at stake. We are already experiencing the effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels and more natural disasters. 16 out of 17 of the hottest days on Earth have been since 2001. Time is a luxury that we don't have. Thank you, Representative Hassan, for your vote for Clean Energy last week. We look forward to hearing more about how you and Senator Hayden will continue to provide leadership to 